Okay, so here's my mini little Tasty Pins tutorial. So we're starting with a blog post that I changed the title of and I changed the primary image of. So I changed it to how can you have a happy family if you're not happy. It was originally called Four Ways to Let Go of Control, which is the post, but that's how we're happy. I found this paragraph here that I felt like was actually the crux of the whole post. So I bolded it and pushed it out a little bit and decided to change the image and create some new pins and change the primary image, which was this. To this and so this pin is with um, social warfare which we are not going to be using anymore for pinning so I'm not really worried about the fact that that pin is still there I have yet to kind of see how that plays out so we'll see but I'm gonna grab this Pinterest description because each image is going to need its own Pinterest description and its own Pinterest hashtags and I am going to start here but I also am going to try and remember the fact that um, this was really, the post was really about being happy and having, um, choose like, you know, making sure that we're doing the things that keep us happy. Uh, it's a little bit of self care too. We're, when we're doing four separate pins, we kind of need to look at the post a little bit more closely so that we can try and focus on multiple things for each pin. So one of the things that um, I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm, I am copying that because I don't want to go too long. When you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the post, you got to go all the way down. That's where you're going to see the tasty pins. You're going to click select image and then you are going to upload files. Now, if you have not unzipped here, I'll show you my this is what my folder looks like. If you have not when you first download from Canva and you have multiple pins, it's going to download as a zip file. If you have not unzipped it, you won't be able to open the images. So make sure that not while you're in this process, because this process actually is not, uh, it won't unzip, it'll grab the zipped one. So make sure before you get this far, just wherever your files are living, whether they're in Dropbox or on your computer, that you um, open up the zip file. On a Mac, all you have to do is click it. I don't know what you have to do if you're on a PC. Sorry. So anyway, these are my pins. I'm grabbing one. And then we're uploading it here. And then what happens here is we do want to change the name of the pin. It's just going to say one. And we want to make sure it says one happy family. This is helping the person who is managing our Pinterest force. And then... Um, the Pinterest text is the box now for tasty pins. So we, this, this box was not here before. And when we added tasty pins, this box became here. Um, this is the social warfare pin box, but we're not going to be using that anymore. We are just going to be using this. So I'm putting this description in here and this is, um, kind of the, the it's the original description now one of the things that we want to do is we want to go into Pinterest and search some of these words um, let's see what happens when I put in let go and now I'm gonna put in let go of so I'm not even getting that much um, you know that much traction from that so um, let's see if I say mom's need to okay well so wait so take care of themselves is something so here's some choices now I've found some choices for myself so I've got mom's need to take care of themselves I've got mom's need a break so I think that I'm gonna just go for those right now and that's kind of the point so in the beginning or maybe even for all the pins you might need to go back and forth to Pinterest you really want to um, so I'm gonna say moms tweens teens need break okay so I'm you know I don't want to put more than six hashtags in there so all these words will be part of the search engine. Now, it's important to remember that not everything can be the same. So this is one description, but even with different tags, this description needs to change a little bit. I also want to put in the alt text because this for, happen, helps for our search engine optimization. 
um, I want to put um, like um, how can I be happy as a mom think of something that a mom might search and one of the things I'll show you too is that you can grab the text that we are saying is our um, keywords for you so anyway now I'm gonna smush it if you don't have smush you won't be smushing it I'm smushing this and once it is smushed we're gonna select okay so now it's showing up as our pin here the reason why it still says select images is because you can make as many as you want we're gonna do four that's the first one what I was talking about before is when we are um, so we I let go of controlling parenting was what we were focusing on for our original keyword focus and we cannot mess with that and just leave this alone but and this could be an alt text for one of the images that gets uploaded and one of them can say let go of control and parenting so that's basically how it goes so we are just gonna um, do three more and then we will be set to go and then we will use tasty pins as we pin for the future oh and always I would suggest updating after every single pin don't worry if it pops up and says the proofreader has suggestions because I'm assuming it's already been proofread and um, so I'm gonna just say okay to publish so I'm just updating the post right now because I'm adding a new pin to an old post if this was a new post then you would go through and you would do the um, checking for the spelling the spell check and all of that the WordPress has suggestions part but meanwhile we're all set with this one so it's all updated and it is ready to go